So throw it in the can. 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 They play in their cars. They play it in their vans. So right they now, they're the really kind of only artists right now because mm -hmm. the dudes here left. They're yeah. not here anymore. Right. So it's just him and me now. So I'm going to set my stuff up on this wall. Mm -hmm. But I got some Jerry stuff. Mm -hmm. I told Kid to bring some of his art. And if you want anything you want to bring, bring it, whatever the price, I mean, however high or low, whatever it is, put it on this wall, you know what I'm saying? We put it here and it just it just can just stay there. Yeah, yeah. Anything that you don't mind, that you don't need for the immediate, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you don't mind just like staying yeah, there yeah, for a minute, yeah. you know what I mean? Something, maybe something precious that you feel like you want, you know what I mean? That you're not willing to go low on and you want yeah, your money's worth. Yeah, yeah, right. Put that on this one. Okay. Cause pe the people that come through are people that buy art. They're not just regular people. They just walk in the streets. They, you know, they look at it and just like observe it. They may look at it for a couple of weeks. And then they'll be like, I've been looking at this for a while on this one. So anything you don't mind, just chilling for a minute. Okay. Bring it through and just keep it here. You know what I mean? It'll be just Hell Trash Studios. Or yeah. TV, whatever, whatever the fuck. But I'll put your thing on there, Ebony R. You know what I mean? It'll be yours. And whatever price you say, that's yeah, yeah, what's yeah, going to yeah, be I on it. You. Okay. you know what I'm saying? But yo, check it out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you hooked it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know oh, what I'm saying? Wow. That's what's going yeah, on. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, man. I got the yeah. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. I got oh, the, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's decent. Cream plaid, because I got these all over. <laughs> Yeah, you hooked that up fast. You want some more? Got that Sean Don't Tell shit, You know man. what I'm saying? <laughs> What's that? Sean Don't Tell him. You know what I mean? Only the <laughs> best. Right? Only keep the best in the library. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Only keep the best. I got Nietzsche. <laughs> I got George Orwell. I got Hot Glass. You know what I mean? And that's how I, I only keep the best. I see this one. Yeah. The new hip-hop street yeah. book. Sean, but don't tell him. You know what I mean? Like, yo. But I need your art in here, man, because I got I got Jerry stuff. I'm gonna put that out on the wall. Yeah, put, yeah. I don't know about this one because it's too big. I don't know where the wild thing. Oh, okay, okay. I know it's where the wild things are, but to me, that's I don't mean to be. I don't know. Jerry keeps trying to push this on me, and it's just like, yo, that's not like what you do. Like that's like, cause it's like he got this thing where he just like, yeah, I know, you know, what I mean, the type of fans you got, they were like this, and I'm like. The type of fans I got, like, yo, like, do your thing. I would be wanting Jerry to do his thing. And I feel like when he do stuff like this, he be trying to, like, appeal to certain people. Because that's what he be saying. I'm just like, yo, do, do your, right. do your thing. Like, do your, the ghetto yeah, characters yeah, yeah, and, like, what you do. Yeah, yeah. Like, do what you do. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, you ain't got to try to, and it's too big to fit on the wall anyway, so I can't really yeah, put yeah. that on the wall. But, like, he got this Rick Ross piece. <laughs> and like this yeah, other stuff, it's like, yo, do what you like doing. Like, yeah. do the corrupt and Rick Ross and all that. Like, yeah. do your thing. And the yeah. goddesses and like, yeah. I be wanting Jerry to just do what he do. He always feel like he gotta like, he's like, oh well, Rob, if you in this place, then it must be these type of dudes, and they want to see this kind of art. And I hate when he give me that kind of stuff, like. Yeah. Like some stuff to try to impress people, and it's like, nah, man, you ain't gotta impress anybody. Like you impress people by doing what you do, like in your mind. Like that's impressive. Yeah. Like that's that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 crazy right there. Plus, that's, you know, you, you, know, you know what Jerry got. Like you know <laughs> Jerry got like yeah. like yeah. maybe having stuff with, like hug bottles on the street, and yeah, yeah, he'd yeah. be like, oh, nobody wanna see that. Like yeah, they do. Like yo, like nobody ever seen nothing. Like nobody does stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? When, you know what I mean? Elmo with a pistol and, you know what I mean? Yeah, that that's, crazy that's stuff. True. Like Elmo, uh, I mean, um, like uh, Ernie and Bert, and they just like bloodshot eyes. Like, that shit mm -hmm. is like insane, yo. Yeah, like, yo, like, it's see that and be like, yo, like, what the fuck is this? Like, what's going on? No, but that's, that's his style. It's all about like making cats like that. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's his you know thing. That's emerged. That's emerged art. But like, you know what I mean? But, uh, but I'm not, I'm not saying I don't like it. This joint, I'm not saying I don't like it. Hey, 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 what up, family? What's going on? Yo, yo. Emerge the artist out here screaming so you can hear me. I'm um, out here on Spring Garden Street where I used to hang at. Peace your eyes on this. 
Yeah, we really here. So, uh, basically, you gotta ask me, I guess, something about artwork. Yeah. See what's How'd going on. How'd you get on. started? How'd you get started? I see you got the fresh Puma joints. How you get yeah, started in art? I style. mean, I know, but. Well, I always been drawing. We had a lot of uh, family, which my dad taught me basically everything I know. So, ever since I was a baby, going from my dad's um, and my mom's, just showing me everything they know and cultivating me and things of that nature. Right. You remember the first piece you did? Nah, but you do. You told me it was the hawk or something? <laughs> yeah, it was. I remember a, a hawk <laughs> picture I did in school or something to that nature. Right. Nah, it was it was like an owl that you did. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I that's landed. when you said that's when I could draw, right? Yeah. That's I did a I clown in school and a, um, I did a clown and I did a... Uh, an incredible hawk picture and I had you on the other side to stop the incredible hawk from coming out the TV <laughs> and killing us <laughs> that was that was way back in the day right right do you um you know what you what do you consider your style like when people see it, everybody got but what do you consider when you drawing your when you doing your art in it what do you consider it I hope my glasses ain't come out looking crazy Abstract cartoonalism. Mm. Abstract cartoonism. Right. And how do you, you come up? Be, I would say it was pro-black, more or less. Now it's just basic pro-black cartoons and artwork done by a technician. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Basically. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, I don't, you know, I'm at a loss for words. I've done stuff for Corrupt, the rapper Corrupt, Bahamadia. I, I was able to meet them and, and do worldwide stuff on the album Corruption and on the BB Queen album. Yeah. And some backdrops for Wu-Tang. I'm not sure if they used them. I worked on that. Yeah. I did a couple things. Yeah. With the art name Emerge. Right. E-M-E-R-G-E -E or E-M-I-R-J as I'm now being called. What made you change that? The popular demand, they demanded the people was telling me I couldn't be the regular Emerge. I got to be Emerge with a J at the end to make it more artsy. It's like, no. No. <laughs> no, I, no. Oh, no. Oh, I, I just decided to change it to always be coming up, meaning to always come up, to right. Emerge, to always be fresh. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Where do you think your style come from? Like, where, where does that, that style come from? I hope it comes from up there and not down there. Right. That's what it feel like. It's, it's a combination of both, though. Kind of watching and seeing other styles, too. Seeing and watching the styles. That's what's kind of taking me down now. Because mm -hmm. I feel like I'm older than my style. I feel like I'm at an mm -hmm. age now where the, the, the art should mature. But something is still making me do cartoons in that same youthful way. So, you think that it's going to be picked up on there? Yeah, yeah. You can pick up the sound? The sound, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, well. yeah. The sound the sound is uh definite, you know what I'm saying? So we I mean you so, decided to come in this area. Why did you decide this area? Well, this is an area that we used to uh frequent going to the different clubs in that nature. Like um Rough House Records was around here. Right. Hung out at the different clubs where the roots and all them used to be at and stuff. Right. And I always used to like this area. Right, 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 right. That's about it. Right. For no other reason. Right. I mean, we know you. You also you don't just uh, do art as well. Well, art is MC. Yeah, I used to do music and all that. I don't really do that no more. Right. I'm not really with that. Right. Why not? I'm a rap. Just to keep it to myself to keep myself sharp. But I, I don't like where it went. I don't like where rap went. Right. I don't like how they made a. Uh, everything is so deaf or die, and it's not fun, really. Oh, that's what you mean. It's just that. fun that I'm up, you're down. I got money, you don't have money. Right. That right. kind of thing. Right, right. I don't really like that. That's not hip hop to me. Right, right. You know, but what can I say? Right. Explain that piece on your neck. I got the camera kind of keep going to it. I believe this is probably, if it's not amethyst, it's um, turquoise. It's a turquoise piece that I grabbed. Right. And that's about it. Right, right, right. So I don't really have, I don't want to. Make it go too far long than what it could go, cause right. 
I don't have much to add. Well, I do. I wanted to ask you about the pieces that's hanging up in your studio. Um, and we can start with anyone. Well, um, I had I have you and my friend Chirp to thank for hanging those up. Well, actually, my friend Russ yeah. to thank for hanging those up. Uh, those are um, the latest pieces that I've been doing. Right. Basically, I hope they they can be put somewhere preserved upon my demise. Right. That's all I can say. Nah, they're gonna be preserved now. <laughs> That's why we're doing this. I'm talking now. preserved in the future. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. What you're saying. Preserved just mean you know. Yeah, yeah. They can be preserved now, but they're gonna be preserved until a certain time. Right, right, right. I got you. you. Know what I mean? So. Yeah. Well, in particular, what, like, what, what's the longest it take you to do a piece? Is it a process you go through? Like, well, I'm gonna have to go through a lot to repair this piece. Now, um, which piece? The one that you, the recent one that you just bought me, the big piece that you bought me, the Rick Ross and the uh, McMillan. Right. I'm gonna go on an attempt to repair it tonight. Get it back to uh, showroom quality. Right. <laughs> you know, right. somebody ripped it. Oh, okay. I ripped it, or somebody ripped it. Right. So with a, with a piece like that, because it's so huge, like how long did it take you? Like, what's your process? Is it is it, it like takes I'm me, it do? takes me anywhere to do a, a nice piece and keep it going uh, a day, and then from that day, usually it's hard to say, mostly right. like a day or a couple hours. And then I just keep, 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 keep adding on to it, adding on to it, adding on to it. Yeah, because it seems like you could do a piece and it'd be done, but then you might add on in the course of a year. Done to other people, yeah. yeah. I, I never have finished any picture I ever did. I, I, I don't care if it's a stick figure. I read, go over it, go over it. Uh, that's something I always done. So in all actuality, I never really feel like I ever finished a piece. Right. And it seems like you got this thing, like I noticed just watching your pieces, like you got this thing where you kind of add certain elements to it, like you'll add a pyramid or add this kind of... Three-dimensional twist. Yeah, or anything. You'll okay. add it on their head or in the back of their they, right. they head. You just got this... Is that... That's just something you do or just something you might have thought about and then you Yeah, this is something I did from trying to stand out. Right. Stand out the, of uh, the most people. Right. Right. That's about it. And these, like the different techniques, where do where you think a lot of these different techniques came from? Um, the streets, mm -hmm. the street artists before me, the abstract people, the the Basquiat's of the world, the Keith Haring's of the world, mm -hmm. the rebels that I watch coming up, Rando Money. <laughs> People like that. Right. Right. That's who I took in high regard. Right. I didn't know about corn, but I did know about Eastro. Eastro. Randall Money. Um Densky. I guess you could say NM. All those different different graffiti legends. Cause that's what I kinda turned myself into. I was a, 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 a tried, learned graffitier at first, which I learned that you can't draw graffiti. Then once I, I had that in my head from my brothers, mainly you actually, not all of them, just right. you. And it got me into getting it together. Right, right, right. Well, I, I don't really have much more to, uh, right. to yeah, add That's more. about it. <clears throat> you know, we just trying to understand, you know, the style, your style and check out your work, you know what I'm saying, and just uh, add on. Do you and your brothers collaborate? Not me, I'm talking about the other ones. Uh, Rob? I think I have slightly lately as things been as things unfolded and unfurled, sort of. I would have liked to do more collabs with my brother Rob than what I did. I've started to appreciate the depth of my brother Roosevelt, the uh, I don't know the mind. The way his mind works and putting street stuff together is really untouchable. It went over my head because I wanted him to draw a certain way. I seen him draw himself before, so I'm like, well, I know he knows how to. And I, I didn't, I didn't really realize that it's, it's a style. That's an unbelievable style that he has as well. That came from the same elements. Right. Right. Who would you say uh, your brother's style is? Starting with Rosie since we on Now him, I could definitely say, he reminds me of Jean-Michel, mm -hmm. of Basquiat. Mm -hmm. 
I could definitely say that. Right. Was he, I forget how old he was. It seemed like he might have been 13. He may have been about 13, Rosie, when um, Roosevelt, his father, and I went down to the Board of Education to receive an award uh, for his artwork. He always, he always did little odd pieces of artwork, but everybody always liked his artwork, and he always said, oh, it's, it's nothing. Oh, I'm not like the rest of them. They can draw and do all these things. But he had a little unique way about his art that was very charming, and I liked it. And uh, we'd always try to tell him, no, Rosie, you do how you do. But he always would be a little shy about things that he'd done. But uh, his art teacher, no, this was in high school, because I remember his art teacher would always ask about him after he left the school. Oh, yeah, well. That's right, it was art high school. He went to University City High School. I always thought he looked a little young for his age, although he was tall, but he had a young way about him. And, uh, what you gonna do, sell it? Because he was tall and slinky. So he always stayed kind of slinky. But I always thought uh, he never realized things about his own charm. That he had. Mm. Mines, I watched pop out artists like Basquiat, but I was more of a Keith Haring man. I didn't really know nothing about Basquiat. I didn't really fancy him neither until later. You know. And what, what about Rob? What, about, what is his style like to you? To me, Robert Crump comes mm. to mind. Wow. The great artist Robert Crump. It's coincidence they had the same name. No, from here. Put him. that up there too. I, can I am, but I can't fit it on the wall because I got like kids gonna put some stuff, and I want you to put some stuff. But this is the whole weekend, is what I'm trying to say. The whole weekend, so Friday tonight, starting tonight, mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday. Now I can't put anything up tonight, and I can't put anything up tomorrow because tonight I gotta make some money, so I'm not putting anything on the wall. I'm going on the street with the shit, and tomorrow I got the convention, so. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Sunday is when I'm gonna put stuff up. Okay. But it's the whole weekend. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, these dudes is the creepers. These are the creepers. That's the black creepers. That's <laughs> like the white creepers. Off layer or yeah, yeah. See, you don't, yeah, you always get it. You always fucking get it. You always get it. Rose always fucking you always get it. You know like, where I got it from anyway. You so like funny. Keith Harry does things fast but and fills them in. He did it so much that Keith Harry. Oh, that's the he, he he just like did real big huge blow ups fast on buildings and all that type of stuff and he would do it so I just fast. gotta get to the point where I'm not scared to do it on the street. Oh. Yeah. But you get it, you right? Like football, football players, football. right? You're the only person that said that. Football players. This you're the only person, person. Yeah. No, it wasn't here before, but you're the only yeah. person that said that and I knew you was gonna be the one yeah, to yeah, say yeah. it because you always I do it, I do it for him. I do it and I'm like, yo, yeah, Rose is gonna get it. He gonna get the 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 um what's the movie? Uh, what's that movie? It was Nicholas Cage? In it? What's that movie with uh, the Masons uh, and the um, Dun National uh, Security? Was it? Nah, 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 nah. The movie where it was in the Mason Building in Philadelphia. Oh yeah. Trying to figure out the the oh, secrets. Seven monkeys. Nah, not no, nah, not that. Not twelve monkeys. Um, I mean, yeah. trying to figure out the secrets. National is that? Oh, uh, oh, national. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. National, national treasures. Treasure. National. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you always, always okay, okay, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You always know the secret. Like you always know like, oh yeah, oh football. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody else is like, yeah. <laughs> no, but no, what I'm saying is I like, didn't know at first. No, but I, I explain it even in, in, in more intricacy. Yeah. This is like so it's like the, you see, they got the white stripes, they got the black stripes. Oh, okay. They got the even numbers, they got the odd numbers. Okay. So basically they all call creepers. All of them is creepers. These are the eyeballs. And these are even Stevens. It's white versus black. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I guess black, the prize is white, white, white on black. But it's not like Caucasian, yeah, you know I mean, yeah. black. It's just just black and white. Yeah, because yeah, you know, yeah, I'm always, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But white it's on like, black, black. You know, I'm on always doing my 13. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he first. He did that because like, fast.
No, I just, it just took a while. It took yeah. a while to work on them. I ain't, I ain't do it that fast. I did, it took a while. I, I mean, when the last time y'all was here? Huh? When the last time y'all was here? That was like a couple weeks ago, right? When was that, like a month ago? No, no, it wasn't. No, nah, it wasn't a month ago. It was a couple like weeks. weeks ago, right? Probably two weeks. Two weeks. Right? Yeah. Probably two weeks. So I did two weeks to work on it. I'm still not, I mean, look. I put this, I only put this here because they got the fuck up. Nah, that's... But I got to paint this out that, white. Yeah, yeah, Because I thought I wanted his arm to go this way, but instead I went that way. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, check it out, bro. Check it out. This is going to be the... I'm writing y'all lyrics. Okay. Because it fell off the wall. But... Yeah, that'll be the cover. That's right. That's the cover. And you know, that's the machine. That's amazing. So it'll be like this. That'll be the cover. That's the first page, right? Mm -hmm. Then you turn it, that's the inside page. Oh, that's right. So that's the barrel. Oh, barrel. Oh. Now, it say R wood. I had that's to kind of figure out how I was going to do, because for the, for the, like, these are the people that wrote the lyrics to the song. Yeah, right. And I'm like, well, I'm R Woods. I got to a point where I'm like, well, I'm R Woods, because I put, like, D Shackle for J yeah, Barrel. Yeah, right, right. And then when it get to R Woods, I'm like, well, you are R Woods, too. Yeah, yeah, so I right. had to put my middle. I had to put RL. I didn't know if I was going to put R Woods Jr. for you. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. RL, my middle name for me. Yeah, and I was like, if I put R Woods and then put R Woods Junior, they're gonna think you my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. I was like, nah, I'm gonna just put my middle name. Yeah, yeah, I got so you. I put RL, but yeah, that's all I do I there. Yeah, I'm set up. So when you see R Woods, that's you. Okay. Then we see RL Woods, that's me. Yeah. So that's that's, that's another way to mess them up. Cause Cause you, know, you, did the hook, you did the hook on that. You did the verse on that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you did the verse right. on that. I was thinking of taking it back to it was some black and white stuff and we just do a whole bunch of posters. And you could just fill them in just like, you know, just hand posters. Black oh, paint just straight up pens. From doing it. You know what I mean? And just make it. Yeah, yeah, right. right. That's what's going on. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. telling you, like, yo, that's yeah. what's yo, yeah. Right. Five dollars a piece. I've been selling it. But I'm like the two four dollar posters. Oh, like you know I need posters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, get a big paintbrush. Yo, I ran into this dude that do black and white art. Like I was the 
Theodore Possum or raccoon from the back to the front door No trade for riches, not even that job call Mammal in ghetto zoo, eating dirty inspired food Move fast with that meat before it spoil, nigga Refrigerator is the window in the winter In the freezing cold Kerosene heater is a stove Can't see the floor beneath a pile of dirty clothes No spring cleaning, cutting up for a mop and glow Beneath the dirt year round like I had plants to grow Can't help make the bread, couldn't afford the dough In the windows, plywood, block, can't see what I could And I would pay for electric, but what for? I'm broken, it'd be cheaper to sneak it from next door What about a washing machine for dirty drawers? Don't waste it all, say that last little bit for splashing my ball. I'm in the millennium, in the beyond of the millennium